What's up, YouTube? It's been some couple of days since I uploaded a video, but I just want to say Happy Autism Awareness Day to everyone. So this is a special treat for everyone. So today I'm going to do a Windows XP review. I know, for all of you, you're going to feel nostalgia for this one. Windows XP was a Windows NT operating system. It was a awesome one. Fortunately, this one had already ended its support in 2014. It was released to May of Funcher on August 24, 2001, and generally available on October 25, 2001. Produced by Windows 2000 and Windows ME, and succeeded by Windows Vista. Unfortunately, its Main Street support ended on April 14, 2009, extended support, and then on April 8, 2014. There's a, a extended support that you can get till 2019, but there is um, a lot of versions of Windows XP for all of you to see. The first uh, going on Windows XP was Neptune Odyssey that came in 1999, and Whistler from January 2000. So anyway, we're gonna use VirtualBox, and the one I have working is Windows XP Professional. I don't have home server, so. You will say goodbye to this sound now. Yeah, that was the welcome start to Windows XP, one of the most successful operating systems. Now, back in the day of 2001, people had continued using Windows XP. So, this is running on VirtualBox, and this runs really good. So, we should see it come up. There it is. Microsoft Windows XP. Copyright Microsoft Corporation. Now, when this came out, it had a huge major upgrade. The the stub change happened, and there's gonna be a startup sound. There it is, and you should hear the startup. Well, let me see if I have found you. There we go. Quick, loud, and there's the welcome screen. You should hear the startup now. Yep, I know. Yeah, I know. Windows XP ended its support on April 8, 2014, and it already passed, so you don't need to tell me that XP. Yeah, for all of you, you may have seen this message when it first came out. It say, oh, your Windows ended support. So what I'm going to do is click, don't show this message again. It's okay. So anyway, the one I have up here is for Cyclebin and Bubsy Buddy. But once you head to the start menu, here's the stuff I have. Here's all my stuff. And um, here's the current windows. Now I'm going to show you the properties of the, co of the computer site. So, hold up. So, you may know what am I running on. You're going to see it. If I can get this thing. See, there we go. Microsoft Windows XP Professional version 2002 Server Pack 3. So, we'll close that out, and we can fix this. Now, before I show the internet, I'm going to show you um, another version. So, what I'm going to have to do is open my documents, and I'm going to go back up. Here's my windows. Give me a moment. All right. So, you're going to see this. Microsoft Windows XP Professional, copyright 1985 to 2001, Microsoft Corporation, Microsoft Windows, Version 5.1, Build 2600, Server Pack 3, Copyright 2007, Microsoft Corporation. So I think I got a 2007 release of Windows XP off an ISO image. So, I'll show you Bubsy Buddy. And yes, this is a cool desktop. Mm. This has. Now, for opening an application, it takes some long time for it to load. There it goes. Here it is. It is Bubsy Buddy. Is it it past your bedtime? Ah, yeah, I know. It's past my bedtime. But we came to say hi. We'll let you go back to sleep now, Bubsy. Goodbye. Until next time, my friend. Alrighty. Now, for you know that everybody likes this storm menu, there's a, another version of it. To get the classic start menu, you have to go to the start menu, click on classic start menu and OK. And there's a classic startup menu with Windows XP Professional. So I'm going to go put this back into its normal start menu. Normal start menu, it's OK. 
Now we go to the internet. Kids Guide to the Internet. There we go. MSN. Now you may know what version I'm running on. And you should see it right about now. There it is. It's called Microsoft Internet Explorer version 6.0. Copyright 1995 to 2004. Microsoft Corporation. So, the, so I'm running six, uh, version 6.0 on this Windows computer system. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to go to Google. Not google.com and maybe we'll search up something. Let's search up for everyone's favorite Windows XP. Okay, all right, click on that. See, famous Windows XP. And um, here's a little fun fact this was my very that was my very first computer that I that I own. Um, ever since I first been born. So anyway, I'll show you some games that I got here. There's a lot of games for it. There's Microsoft Kids, Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker, and Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. That's the only one I have. But these are the games I got for this one. A lot of them, including Microsoft and Fun Pack 3D. But I'm going to play the classic, um, where is it? Pinball. Now, everybody like playing pinball. It was first introduced in 2000 for Windows 2000 Professional and other computer systems. But everybody likes to play this on Windows XP, so... Okay, um, I may do that for you. So, let me go to player controls, see if I can... Let's zipper Z... No. Switches to Y. Yeah. Y. Okay. I said okay. Game, new game, and it's loading up right now. Alright, launch the ball. Yeah, player one, waiting department. Yeah, it's the ball. Yep, there we go. Let's go down. Yeah. That was the awesome pinball game. So now we will go show you the screensavers I have. Now here we are with screensavers. This is a classic Windows XP professional. When you get to this star screen, you will see um the Windows XP logo. If you guys can see that good. There it is. Yeah, it likes to go everywhere. So your main trick is you have to catch up with this logo every time you're making a video about it. So anyway, let's show them another another classic. Let's see. Yeah, there were some other ones. Um, text, Pite, Flowerbox, and Flight Artist managed to go into Windows XP. But there was a sad part. You know the maze that everybody loved back in the 90s? Yeah, unfortunately in 2001, Microsoft took that out. So, the maze was long gone away into the, into the heavens in 2001. But, we'll show you the... Flying objects. That one's my favorite. That was that was weird. Something ha something weird happened. Hey, anyway, I apologize. I apologize for that one. I click on flying objects. And See, that's the that's the 2001 Microsoft Windows logo. And we should get back up. Let's see if I can switch it. Let's see. Um, ribbon. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a ribbon. So, anyway, that's gotta do it for my Windows XP review. Now, before I end this video, I think we gotta go to my computer. I wanna go to Control Settings if I can find there. Oh wait, Control Panel, and uh, we should find it. Um, where is it? Should be here. Oh, there we go. Sound, speech, and stuff. Alrighty. Um, change the sound scheme, even though I don't want to do that now. I'm going to show you the logon sound. And the log up sound. Start window sound. And ending windows. 
Yep, that was a nostalgia sound. So, thank you so much for watching this Windows XP review. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Mm, turn off computer for important updates. Mm, let's see what the updates are. Yeah, Windows XP needs to do a lot of updates lately, so Windows is shutting down now. And this might take forever. I'm gonna skip this update, so... I hope you guys really like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care and have a great day.